So that is a lot of wood. I'm gonna build a fire over this frozen part to thaw it out. I'm gonna put some fire in that trench as well. All right, got a nice bed of coals, some really hot sand. We're gonna spread it out nice and even. Get my bed ready. Well, it's been about five hours since I buried the uh, coals. Let's check the temperatures. Got 89 degrees right there. 76 and 59. Definitely still got heat. Man, you can still feel it. Here's my pillow for tonight. <sighs> I must have been tired because it's 5 a.m. and I slept pretty good. So I stoked the fire up really good and that feels really nice. My feet are really cold. So I rolled some logs down that way and built the fire. And uh, hopefully that'll warm my feet up here in a little bit. Oh, good morning. Well, the ground's really hard, but I'm warm. The uh, fire by my feet is keeping my feet warm. I feel some warmth in the ground still. Well, I'm curious to see how warm the, the gravel is. I mean, that's still pretty good. So we got about 60 degrees here, and we got about 22 degrees over here. So yeah, big difference. I'll tell you what, sleeping on 70 degree gravel versus ice and water makes a huge difference. Ah, she's been a good shelter, but it's time to go home. Looks like it's about 17 degrees out here. Let's take this inside and see what the difference is. We're gonna put this right up here by the bed. Check it out, it's about 43 degrees here in the shelter. So that means it's about 26 degrees warmer 
in the shelter versus outside. So that's really a big difference. I should be pretty comfy and he can't roll out. Well, it's about 9.30 in the morning and we're just watching the sun slowly come up. We're just kind of packing up and eating breakfast, taking it easy. Now we got the place cleaned up a little bit. Let's get Jacob out of here. All right. Hold on. You have fun, bud? Uh-huh. Good. Well, there we go, it's pretty cozy. Well guys, it's getting late. I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning guys. Oh, looks like we got a bit of snow last night. That's why you hang up your coat and your pants. That's why you cover up your boots. Yeah, we got quite a bit of snow. Oh yeah. Well, it's time to get packed up, so I'm gonna go put the fire out.
balloon or patch. Make it appropriate. Okay? okay. Blessed to do this. How's it coming, Tommy? Very good. Come back. That'll do. All right, I got some of this Rust-Oleum high heat spray paint meant for barbecues and stuff. Got a little milk, got a warm fire, not too bad, huh?
Ta-da! It's really smooth and surprisingly square considering. <laughs> so cold, all the plastic is frozen. Hopefully nothing breaks. You have to kind of insert the pole. The elastic's not very stretchy at this temperature. All right, got step one done. I better get this thing up and going. Whew. Oh, my lips are getting numb. It's hard to talk. The tarp's so frozen and crinkled, it's too small to fit in all the grommets. I'm having to yank on it for all my worth to get it to stretch and go where it's supposed to go. There we go. We got heat. Well, it's four o'clock and we're already busting out the flashlights. Yeah, why don't you sit down right there? Here. Now, now I want you to sit down right over here. Is that warm? There we go. So this thing right here is a water tank. You put a bunch of snow in here or water, whatever, and uh, it heats up against the side of the stove. And then you can just turn this, get hot water whenever you want it. You gotta admit that's awesome. It really is. All right, got a caribou hide down here on the ground so I can take my boots off. Oh, that really helps. Up here, the very top of the tent, it's 98 degrees. The heat from the stove rises and collects at the top of the tent, so there's real extreme temperature differences in here. My head's kind of sweaty, but my feet are kind of numb. Let's put the thermometer down here and I'll show you the difference. So check it out here on the floor, it's right around freezing at 32 degrees. I have another thermometer here on the bed and you can see that this one's at 60 degrees. So that makes a huge difference in temperature, just being off the floor a little bit. Every inch off the ground you get in a hot tent, the warmer you're gonna be. That's why you use cots in these things. It makes a huge difference to be in a cot versus on the ground. And thermometer says, negative 58. Oh, oh, it's cold. This tent is made by Arctic Oven and the model is called the Igloo. And I've heard people claim it's the warmest hot tent in the world. And I think they're right. I'm going to bed, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Hey, Jake, you up? Me and Jake both woke up too hot uh, in the middle of the night at some point. But it's about 9 a.m. and uh, I'm gonna get the fire cranked up and then we're gonna get up and make some breakfast. Oh, dang. Man, that is so close to negative 60. It is bottomed out this thermometer. Oh, it is cold, guys. All right, guys, we're at that point where I gotta put the fire out. And once I do, it's a race against time to get everything put away before my fingers and feet freeze. Oh, my lips are going numb. Let's find some dead trees.
I'm gonna build the shelter out of a 12 foot by 12 foot tarp and a couple of these poles. I'm This is my Winterwell titanium backpacking stove. It only weighs a few pounds. This thing is so light and it's really easy to put together. The stovepipe will melt the tarp if it touches it, so I've got to use these fork sticks to keep the tarp away from the stovepipe. Tiny little bump. Let's get it done. Well, we're getting ready to go to bed, and I have learned my lesson from previous winter camping trips. I brought a wide neck bottle. Yeah. <laughs> We're not getting out of our bag tonight. Good night, buddy. Good night. Oh, it was cold last night. My bag was barely keeping it together. Hey, Nathan, were you warm? Yeah. <laughs> Nathan's bag is so much better than mine. I gotta get one of those. As much as I hate to say it, I think I need to get dressed and get up and doing stuff it is cold in case you're wondering how i secured the tarp to this rock face i just had these little wooden wedges that i jammed into the cracks right there and over on this side i tied it off to an icicle now we're going to get our tarp off without letting it touch the stove and get melted like i did last time Tell you what, I'm about six and a half feet tall with my boots on. So the snow's just a hair under six and a half feet deep. And at the top of the wall, it's about nine feet. Whew. It kind of feels a little nice getting out of the wind, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, wow. What do you think? Is that, did I do it big enough? I guess I don't need my shovel. Well, I better get going because I need to get my tent up before my wife and kids arrive. Yeah. Got a tent up. Give me a big kiss. Hi, are you okay? All right. Eat that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I gotta. I gotta show you one feature of our ice compound here. We've got a bathroom. Got our toilet paper. A little camp toilet. All right. My sweet wife is putting the boys to bed. I love you. You're a hero. I love you. Guys, it's late, but we got everybody in one tent. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys. In the Man, we got a lot of snow last night. Check it out. Matt's tent's barely visible. Look at that. We're punching out. Well, good morning. How did you guys sleep? Good. Hey, Mimi, did you sleep well? 
Yes. Were you warm? Yes. Good. Look at this place. Man. It's turned out to be quite the shelter. Yep. Yeah. Uh. A lot of snow got moved by hand. It's time to get all my gear home. I think I go dry it all out. Not too bad. I think that's going to be pretty cozy tonight. Well, this bed sure is a big improvement. Holy mackerel. Can you hear that? That's a whole pack of wolves. But uh, I think we're gonna be nice and safe. Wolves or no wolves. That's uh, about as sturdy of a shelter as I've slept in in a little while. So I think we'll be all right. 
see you guys in the morning. You gonna go that way? Yeah. yeah, I'll come with you. Hey, get down in there and lay down and see if it's flat and comfortable. It's pretty soft but dry. First things first, um, I think we need to get a bunch of firewood. There is a little bit of a breeze coming in around that corner and uh, if we can get rid of that breeze it's going to warm up really good in this little crevice. So I've got a tarp that I'm going to try to string over that opening. Well this tarp has blocked the wind really good. And now that fire's heat is really getting trapped in this space between the rocks. It's it's warming up pretty nice. You feeling better, bud? Yeah. Oh, it's a lot warmer in here, isn't it? <laughs> okay, this is about as cozy of a survival shelter as I've ever had. But there is a little bit of a problem here. We're getting dripping. This is going up here and melting all of that ice. And it's coming down here and it's running here, and then it is dripping onto my sleeping bag. It's dripping right about there, it's dripping right about there, it's dripping right about there. I'm hoping that in a couple of hours it might dry up a little bit and we might get rid of this problem. But in the meantime, I better move my sleeping bag or it's gonna get wet. Well guys, we got kind of lucky. The fire's melted when it's gonna melt and uh, the dripping stopped. So I don't think we have to worry about getting wet in the night from cave drips. Well, good morning. It is 7 a.m. and the sun is just beginning to rise. You sleep well, Nathan? Yeah, the white side. I could be getting old, but it seems to me that the worst part of sleeping in a survival shelter is the lumps on the ground. So lay down in your shelter a few times, find some good positions, smooth it out, because it's a lot easier to fix it now than in the middle of the night. Instead of sleeping bags, we're going to be using this bison pelt. This thing's like six and a half feet by seven and a half feet. It's massive. Oh. There you go, buddy. All right, buddy, you warm? Are you comfy? <laughs> All right, you need to go to sleep, buddy. Well, good morning. It's about 7 a.m. and uh, we're, we're pretty toasty warm. That is a very delicious campfire donut right there. Mm. This looks like a gorgeous spot.
you're focused on one, you'll do. Alright, we got a roaring fire in here and it feels amazing. Come on in. Oh. You can feel the oh. heat already. Oh. Nathan, you awake? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got I got the phone though. Take it out in here, it's nice. We can see here inside the tent on the floor, it's about 22 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe 25. And if you look at it on the walls, you can see there's frost on the inside of the walls below about here. So from about here below is 32 degrees, and the higher up you go in the tent, the warmer it gets until it feels like 70 degrees up here. Real easy. Well, I got the door of the stove facing towards my bag, and I've got a pile of wood within arm's reach. All right, guys, it's pretty late. I'm going to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Well, guys, we survived the night. And look who's up. Hey, Tom. You're nice and warm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> look how covered in frost my overalls are. Oh, these pants are cool. All right, we're almost 32 degrees. So right hovering around freezing inside the tent. It is cold out. Outside the tent, it's negative 16 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 26 Celsius. Ooh, it's cold today. This tent's been a good little tent for us. I'm actually really pleased with it. It's super light. It only weighs about four pounds for the tent and the stove. But uh, it's the Seek Outside Four Man TP Hot Tent. And I'll put a link in the description to it. But I need to start packing it up and getting ready to go because uh, we're going to run out of daylight here in a little bit. Tell you what, this might not be a bad place to sleep for the night. Got a flat sandy bit right there. Got some water, some dead wood. Oh, it's, it's like a greenhouse underneath this tarp. It is so warm in here. Man, it feels so good and warm here on this gravel bar. I can't even begin to describe it. Here, I need to bust out my thermometer and show you guys. So I've got two thermometers, and you can see right here, the ambient air temperature is about 34 degrees Fahrenheit, so just slightly above freezing. But I put another thermometer here in the sunlight over here on the rocks. Check this out. Look at this. On the gravel bar, it is 80 degrees, 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's a 46 degree difference between the temperature of the air and the temperature of this riverbank. That is massive. I'll tell you what, it feels pretty amazing on this riverbank right now, but all that's gonna change tonight when the sun sets. It's supposed to get down to about 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So we need to store as much of this heat as we can and store it in our shelter. I'm gonna show you how to do that really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a nice big bonfire right there where I'm going to sleep. It's going to heat up the ground, store a lot of energy down in the rocks. It's also going to dry out the ground and it's going to make it really warm inside the shelter.
there we go just move the fire over a little bit bury the coals with a little bit of dry sand and we're gonna have a really hot foundation to put our shelter on top of Tell you what guys, it is warm in here. My legs are cooking. This sand is just hot with the coals underneath it. And I've got the heat of the fire. And then it's just not that cold out here because I'm sitting on this baked sandbar. It's just absolutely great. Oh, I'll tell you what guys, I think I might be getting a little bit of a cold. Tell you what, I slept really warm last night. I never pulled down the side of my tarp and the fire went out and I was just really good last night. It was, it was really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it over here. Well, the fire and the shelter are doing a great job. Nice and warm in front, a little chilly on the back, but not bad. It'll probably get down to the negative numbers tonight. And uh, I think we'll be just fine as long as we can keep this fire stoked. Well, it's about 10 p.m. and Nathan is snoring away. <laughs> Look at him. He's just snug as a bug in a rug. I'm doing pretty good. I'm staying warm. My back's a little cold, but it is not a big deal. Um, but mostly I'm just on the lumpiest piece of ground. There's this weird bump. And it's kind of hard to find a good comfortable position. But... Buddy, wake up. You slept in a lot. We're accomplishing three things with this fire. One is we're making the shelter a little bit bigger, thawing out the ground and making it warmer. And we're leveling out the ground by burning out all the stumps and moss and little things so that we can have a nice flat, warm surface to sleep on.
and I'm going to walk the way up later. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yum, yum. Oh. Is that nice and warm? There we go, got the roof covered in boughs, so if we get a good dump of snow tonight, the tarp won't cave in. Here, Jake, there's your stuffed animal, buddy. Hey, Jake, you want some hot chocolate? I'll tell you what, though, this is as cozy of a winter shelter as I've ever made. It is so much warmer in here. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good boy. Uh, bed wasn't too hard. That's not too bad. Definitely got snow last night. Every time you dig one of these things, you never really know what's going to be under the snow. You could have big stumps or rocks or, you know, who knows what. Luckily, we just got a few willow bushes, so we're going to get those out of the way. All right, now I just need to put a roof on it so that if we get a big dump of snow tonight, we don't wake up under a foot of snow. I hope I built this roof sturdy enough because if we get a foot or two of snow, it's going to get really heavy. But we've got a lot of cross members to try to distribute the weight and we'll see what happens. A lot of these self-inflating mattresses don't work as well in the cold. There we go. There you go. Wee! Blanky time! Well guys, I have slept better tonight than I have in a long time. We slept ten and a half hours. <laughs> It's almost nine o'clock right now and the sun's still not up. Well, we got a bit of a storm last night. Oh yeah, we got some snow up there. Definitely got some snow last night. All the firewood's covered in snow. Yay. <laughs> All right. Man, you can really hear the wind now. The snow insulates the sound so much just couldn't hear how loud it was. It's really roaring out here. All right. All right, Nathan, shall we pack it up and snowshoe out of here? Yeah. Ah. Oh, see, look. Oh.
Well, it's not a great roof, but it'll keep the wind off us. And if we get a little skiff of snow, shouldn't be a problem. Get it into the shelter. When you build these shelters, you want to make them in a zigzag S pattern so the wind never can have a straight shot into your sleeping area. It helps a lot. And you know these little logs you can buy for the fireplace if you don't want to build a proper fire? Well, I got like half of one of those. All right. Oh, that feels nice on the hands. My fingers have been so cold on this trip. This little chunk right here will last about two hours. So between that and this, I've got about four to six hours worth of campfire right there. Temperature is dropping out here. It is cold. Woo. I'll tell you what, the wind is absolutely howling down in the valley. It's wind chill is below negative 15, but we're really sheltered where we're at. We're right up against a hill and next to some trees. And then once you get down, below the, the snow line. It's uh, nice and still in here. So you're not, you don't have that wind chill to deal with. All right, thermometer says zero degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we're gonna take the thermometer down here, see what the temperature is at our bags. We can see down here by the sleeping bags, we got about 16 degrees Fahrenheit. So definitely cold, but a lot warmer than it is above the trench. And that's the beauty of snow caves. If you build them right, they're always about 16, 15 degrees Fahrenheit, no matter what the weather is like outside. All right, guys, I'm getting to bed. We slept in so long. Well, hey, Jake, you awake? Hey, good morning. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more adventures from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe because we put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.